Hello my guys and girls and we pass welcome back to Magia Culture Show. Today, the 18th September 2021 is International Red Panda Day, as it is uh, every third Saturday of September. And that means the day is dedicated to the appreciation, celebration and um, preservation of the original panda, the first found panda by modern humans, the red panda. This is the red panda. It's a creature that is very near and dear to my heart and uh, has been for quite a few years now because it's quite the creature, if I do say so myself. Very quality, very cute, very much worth the preservation. Doesn't harm a soul that doesn't need to be harmed, I guess. Fun fact. They are red to hide in the blood of their enemies, but like, I mean, if you don't steal their apples, you should be fine, you know. Either way, rependers aren't that widespread in their natural habitat anymore. They live in the forest regions of like southwestern China, eastern Himalayas, and they're an endangered species. Um, which is one of the reasons why International Rependa Day is a, is a thing a yearly, a, an annual like day to like remind yourself of the creature if you care about it, which would be good. And um, organizations like the Red Panda Network, which is probably the biggest organization dedicated to this one cause, um, celebrate this day to collect donations and spread information about this creature. Uh, building organizations to to let people get involved with preserving this creature in the wild. Like just general research and monitoring of the creature. It is the original panda. It has been discovered before the more, more widespread known great panda, the black and white one. The red panda has been known for a longer time to humans, but kind of still has that reputation of being the second panda for some reason, the one people don't really know about. And uh, because this, this creature is near and dear to my heart and I do sort of celebrate International Red Panda Day every year, I wanted to finally actually take that opportunity and make a video about that because delving into red panda themed video games, which as you probably already guessed, is in the big field. Uh, is something I've been meaning to like do in fucking forever. And for this occasion, I got a special guest here today in the Mad Jerko studio. We got some experimental guest camera technology going over here. This is um, Fluffbutt McFurrypa. It's the residential house red panda. Uh, we adopted him many years ago he's been a <laughs> it's been a an important part of our family here and he is here with me to uh experience this this international red panda day video game that i found viewers that been here for a while viewers that have watched the channel for a bit and have eager eyes might have seen it in some other videos lurking in the background before name is fluff but and i love to eat fluff but, yeah, I love to eat fluff, but... Right. Right. Anyway, the video game that I found is The Way of Cinnamon. Join Cinnamon on this 3D platforming adventure and rescue this captive Red Panda family from the evil Wulong and this band of snow leopards. Create your own platforms and attack enemies using an innovative shield throwing mechanic and collect items across multiple unique environments. So it sounds a little bit like a collector phone, like a 3D platform and collector phone. It's free. It doesn't even cost a dollar. It's interesting. Mixed reviews. But hey, it's one of the rare games that actually has a red panda character as a character, as a playable protagonist, right? Why in the goddamn fuck is the video game opening on my second screen? Jesus Christ. Here we go. Whatever that was. Okay. Graphics quality ultra is recommended. If you say so. Look, look at that. Cinnamon the Red Panda Hero. What do you think of that, Fluffbutt? Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good, but it's uh, missing the ear fluff. 
Yeah, I think, yeah, true actually, yeah. It's not letting me control the menu of my controller, so let's see if it works in game. <laughs> Fool, did you really think you could stop me? Your red pandas are mine now. Yeah, controller isn't a thing, I guess. Floor. Flower? Floor? Flower. Big brother, wake up. You have to save us, please. Save your family. Jeez, we, we're right into the fucking mix up here. What? Oh. Maybe that ultra graphic settings is too much for my heart, for my hardware after all. Oh no. Yeah, that's not happening. Don't even worry about it. Uh oh. I think this is just how it is, guys. It's a Unity game, though. Why the fuck is it chugging this hard? Maybe it gets better in the second level or something. Let's just see, okay? Let's just ride it out. Bear with me. We can still, p we can still play this game. Oh god, dude. Okay. Holy shit! How did I not die there? Done. It is I, the great Dunn, wielded by your ancestors in times of great despair. Cinnamon, use me well. So here's where we get our Captain America shield. Okay, I see. Jesus Christ. If if this is like the intended way to do platforming in here by throwing the shield and jumping on it, it's gonna be brutal with this frame rate. You can throw me by left clicking. If you do it twice, I can be used as a platform. Okay. Oh yeah, okay, I see. Yeah, you have to fucking time it. When you stop the shields. In midair. And that's hard with this frame rate. You can also throw me to attack enemies. Why we're fighting bugs is a mystery to me, but... Oh my god. We're off to a rough start here, oh god. Oh shit, well, goddamn, this frame rate is really, really getting on my stomach. I'm, I'm usually not somebody to complain about frame rates, but this is, this is something. Oh fuck my life. Any any good advice from you, Fluffbot? You need to turn your inner red panda to see all of the frames. Yeah, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. Approximately 10 hours later. From me to free your kept the friend. That's my sister, my friend. Oh my god. Oh Jesus Christ, the, the frame rate really went down there. There's no way in hell I would like be able to accurately fight those people. It's not my sister. It's just another Fime. Thanks for freeing me, Cinnamon. Father Fime. They went to the forest, hurry. Uh, okay, level over. Please, for the love of God, have a better frame rate in the next level. Please, I'm begging you. No. Please, no. <laughs> this cannot be. Why? Requires a 64-bit processor operating system. Windows 7. Yeah, I'm above that. 8 megabyte RAM. Peep. <laughs> Your phones have had more in 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 years. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely meeting the minimum requirements. God damn. Alright, what if I actually try to put it in compatibility mode? Windows 7, I guess. Let's see. I don't have high hopes. It's a Unity game. What? <laughs> It should be streamlined to shit. Everything can run Unity. This cutscene runs smooth as shit. But once it like loads the level or something. It's working now. Fluffbot, it's working. It's working. <laughs> can you believe it? Oh my God, compatibility mode works. But here we go. Sorry for the previous footage. Now we can actually speed run through this level in silky smooth whatever FPS. 
Oh, this is so much better, holy fuck! I'm gonna get that um, bamboo. Although, I, I'm not shooting for all 326 bamboo pieces, that's madness. I told you it's a collector fun. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> what the fuck happened? It's starting a. That's the second level. What the fuck? A fluff part. What the fuck is going on? We just skipped to. The Did we just find a speed one strat? Some bug use? I don't understand what's going on in this game, but it's quite magical. It's not running as smooth in this level, but it's still way fucking better than it was before. Yeah, get fucked, bitch. Oh my god. Just like a big like 3D environment to run around and collect shit in. What is that? Is that a snake shooting? Spitting like poison at me or something? I guess, okay. Alright, time for some um, shield platforming here. I guess we can just do this. Yeah, 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 okay. I see. Alright, alright. If it would run more smoothly, I guess, this would really be like a fine, family-friendly, free platformer that you could like set your kid in front of, you know? It's not, it's not complex or anything, it's not hard. It just does its job. What do you what do you think about this game so far? Now that it's actually walking, Fluffer. It's pretty good, but it definitely needs more knives. I mean, I know you like your knife play. I get it. You like to slice your apple snacks and shit. Oh my god. But you know, you can't have everything. My god. Sad. I guess I wish I had a knife too. You're right, actually. Step, step, step. I mean, the, sh the shield is, is totally an interesting concept. And it plays well into the platforming idea. But yeah, it would be rad to have some knives. I gotta say, though, I do like the simplistic, like, intentionally polygonal style. It's a... It's a solid visual style. Oh, jeez. I'm doing all of this for like some extra berries. Oh, fuck. I fucked that up so hard. I don't know if I want to go for the berries, honestly. No! Drop panda leaves, no snake behind! <laughs> right, okay, you're the guest. I guess I have to obey. <laughs> I know. I know. I know if I play it in character as an actual red panda, I gotta honor. The sweet snack that is some sweet sweet berries. Alright. Alright. Oh what the fuck? You don't move with them. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh they fill up your life, I think. That's fair. Okay, I see white tiger leopard thingies up there. So I'm assuming the cage is closed. Okay, can I kill you? Those dock run animations, they ruin a lot of things. Including these. Oh jeez! Oh fuck, an ambush! Oh fuck! Oh god! No, I can't take on two. That's it, that's that's impossible. And <laughs> bucks two? No way. Oh fuck, oh god, shit. Jesus Christ. There's even more shit? Oh fuck my life! I did not see that coming, what the fuck? Did I just find a secret level? A secret level in the way of cinnamon? Yo, it's freaking dope! This game is full of innovative surprises. Okay. 
This is spooky level of the game, huh? Jesus Christ, okay. I, f I was afraid they would just push me off the, the platform, but that's fine. Where... where to? I guess I'm supposed to try to make it to that. Could have used that shield. Would have been more thoughtful, but it worked out, I guess, so... What else? What the fuck? Bro. Don't show them my Amazon Prime watch list. What the fuck? That's embarrassing. Oh boy, here we are in the fucking... Stop it! Because I'm... I have to use the mouse to look around, obviously. And I guess it's not... What is that scary door? And I guess the game is not like... Focusing the mouse on the game alone. So when the mouse comes to a corner of the... Of, of the... Of windows, it just minimizes it regardless. What the fuck is this? <laughs> it's, it's wild, okay. Am I supposed to guide the ball over there for some reason? It, it, this has to be like for this reason with the like button and shit. But what is it supposed to do? That worked. Wait, what? What happened? Oh, it's... Okay, that screen. I guess I'm supposed to do all the puzzles in each room to... get through the door. What the fuck are you? Are you Hunter from Spyro? It's a statue. That I can move. Get in there. Okay, yeah, that's one. That's two. We gotta get the one up there. Oh boy. Oh jeez. Oh boy. There we go. There we go. That's that room cleared. Alright, what is this magical puzzle room? Oh, is this a race thing? Am I supposed to light all of them up before the time runs out? Okay, but that's actually a lot of time, so... I guess there's no... Fucking hell. No real need to rush. Done. Great sound effects. Great sound effects. Yeah. So what's behind here? Jeez. Oh, no, I'm. Ah, oh, no, I'm here. Yo. Oh, shit. Okay. That's what I call grade A level design. Fellas. There we go, friend. Hello? The game is frozen. That is not ideal to say the least. Oh I guess I they did it. You good? Are you not supposed to say something or, or whatever? I guess I guess it can't do one out of four over there, so did I really just rescue one out of four and fucked off? I, I guess I did. I wonder why they only show one of them. It's still one out of four, so maybe I guess the first one was just a tutorial level one and didn't count for the total one. Total count. Whatever. Jesus Christ. Let's have a cool snow level. I like snow levels. What's your opinion on snow? It keeps the foot fresh, so it's okay in my book. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. I guess it's understandable. Yeah, that makes sense. It is kind of out of character for a red panda to just run around all the time. Considering they sleep like 17 hours of the day. Oh, that... Wow, okay. That did like nothing to cinnamon. <laughs> uh, yeah. Get fucked, bitch! Hell yeah! Oh, well... Yeah! Get fucked, bitch! Get fucked! Yeah! Right in the walls! It's okay, buddy. What's with this thing, though? Oh yeah, that's some... 
high quality platformer attack. Okay, that's quite a jump now. That's that's a bit dangerous here. Yeah, no problem for me. I got the powers of the red pandas on my side right now. Am I right, Fluffbird? For sure, for sure. All right, here we are. You sneaked into the base like a ninja. Shouldn't the red panda from the cutscene be in here somewhere? Yeah, there it is. Pixel precision platform, and I, I swear to God. Sup, bro? Hello? Sup, bro? What is going on? Bro? Sup? Is that the character? Bro. If The quality and the tone of voice and shit. So, bro. I fought someone from my Discord friends. Like I was in the Discord call and I forgot or something. Look at that cool dude. Holy shit. Have you ever seen a red panda do a breakdance this smooth? His 3D glasses and a cool hat. Sup, bro. But that freaked me out. I, I, I really thought I was in a Discord call I forgot or something. Okay, where's the exit of the level now? Is it here? A phone? Beep? What is... What? what? Why? What was the phone beep? Fluffbot, what was the phone beep? I just ordered some pizzas. Don't worry about it. Alright, that seems like it's actually the end of the level here. Fuck off. Yeah, okay. What? What's next? What's next? I'm hyped and ready for everything. Boss battle. Well done, but do you think your pathetic existence means anything to me? You red pandas belong to me now. Fuck off, Wulong. Come forth so I may feast upon your bones. You want to eat us? Big brother, I'm so happy to see you. The pillars are old and cracked. Attack the most damaged spot and I'm sure it will collapse. Silence. Alright, boss battle time. Yeah, okay, I guess. How do I get that far up, though? Oh, jeez. Fuck off! We're doing it, everybody! I guess if you were really smart, you just, like, place it, and then... That way it goes through all of them and do dust damage. That's that's the, like, pro gamer strat. That's a little tip from, from Matt Jerkhole for you. And done! Baby, baby! We have to fuck him up. Still, or is that enough? That, that, that camera angle is going for a bit long. Approximately 10 hours later. I, I'm gonna get a drink real quick, fluff part, if this like continues, if this is ready to move on. You take the wheel for a second. Oh, I got you, bro. I got you, bro. Oh, an epic. Still nothing? No. Well, I guess that's it. I'm gonna assume this is the end anyway. Thanks for watching my full let's play of The Way of Cinnamon. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a wonderful International Red Panda Day. Watch some cute, funny Red Panda compilations on YouTube or something. <clears throat> if you actually want to get involved, be it monetary or just uh, through any kind of voluntary work, maybe you just want to get some swag to rap Red Pandas on the street, I would recommend you head over to the Red Panda Network website where you can get all sorts of like information and shit. Uh, you can also just like buy some merch. Just, just buy a shirt with a cute red panda on it from them or something and you'll do them good too and have something for yourself, you know. Thanks for watching. See you all later. Bye. Bye-bye.